think of the Holy Spirit, there are several points to consider here. One, there are verses and hadiths about the Holy Spirit being the angel Gabriel. So one way of understanding what the Holy Spirit is, it's one of God's greatest angels. That's one way of understanding it. A second way of understanding it, we believe every prophet of God was supported by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a divine power. It's a divine spirit that comes in the aid, to the aid of prophets. When they're delivering God's message, it strengthens their hearts. It gives them resolve. It gives them patience. It protects them from enemies. So we have hadiths about this and verses in the Quran that say the messengers of God, the prophets of God, they're aided by the Holy Spirit. That's the second point. The third point, the Quran is very clear that Jesus, peace be upon him, is considered the spirit of God. And God blew into his spirit just as he blew into the spirit of uh, Adam. He blew into him from his spirit. Now, I think the fundamental difference between Islam and Christianity is that, thank you, is that in Islam, when we say God blew into Jesus from his own spirit, this is not to be taken literal. Literally, God's spirit being blown into Jesus. The reason is because we don't believe God has any physical features for him to literally blow into, you know, flesh into something that is physical. It's more of a, of a symbolic honorary status where Jesus was honored by God as he had no father. So God blew into his spirit by making him a messenger, by giving him holy scriptures to deliver to people. So he was blessed. Just like the Kaaba. The Kaaba in Mecca, in Islam, it's considered what? The house of God. Is it literally the house of God? No. Because God is not physical. He doesn't have a physical house. It's an honorary title given to this cubic-shaped building which symbolically represents the house of God. So it's a symbol. And we human beings, we interact with symbols. Look at language, for example. What's language? A set of symbols, right? When you say the word water, what's, what does water mean? It's a word. It's a symbol that refers to this liquid. The signs on the street, they are all symbols. We human beings, we interact with symbols. That's how we communicate, that's how we function. So the Kaaba is a symbol of the house of God. So when you turn to it, you're actually turning to God. But you have this physical symbol which helps you think of God. So when we say God blew from His Spirit into Jesus, peace be upon Him, this is not to be taken literally. It's more of an honorary status that God gave uh, to Jesus. Meaning, in other words, when God says that Jesus is my spirit, that means He's on my side. I'm the one who sent Him. I'm with Him. I support Him. I'm with Him. So it's more honorary. So when we think of the Holy Spirit, uh, the Quran refers to the angel of God, the archangel Gabriel, as being the spirit of God. All prophets of God are aided with the Holy Spirit that guides them and protects them. And Jesus specifically is mentioned in the Quran as being the Spirit of God.